Hey y'all, welcome back to the Lips Reacts channel. I'm Lips and today we embark, continue our journey into Game of Thrones season two, episode four, Garden of Bones. Garden of Bones is the title of this episode. And I'm, you know what, at this point, well, I've only tried to guess what might, could maybe happen based on the title in last episode. And if you'll see, I was entirely wrong. A lot of people did die. Ooh, Garden of Bones. Might we have a battle? Why we have a battle with a lot of death? Hmm. There's only one way to find out, and that's by watching it. So, we don't need to sit here and speculate. We don't need to sit here and chit-chat, though I do love chit-chatting with you. Okay, so don't forget to hit like and subscribe on this video. If you want the full-length reaction, hop on into Patreon. You need your own copy. But you can watch along with me, and Patreon is ahead of YouTube on the reactions full-length wise. So that journey there's journeys available to you for where you are. Wherever you are, whoever you are, however you made your way here, thank you for being here. I'll see you in the show. The horses seem a little spooked to you. Yes, they do. They get spooked by their own shadows. Uh-uh. Something's out there. Surprise attack. <laughs> oh. What the hell? I was so scared. Renick, do you think I'm an idiot? Renick! <gasps> oh my god, my beautiful Rob. One could call this a garden of bones. Five Lannis is dead for every one of ours. Wow. The officers will be useful, and they could manage a few secrets. A flayed man among A live man that knows things is better than a dead one. The Lannisters hold prisoners of their own. I won't give them an excuse to abuse my sisters. That's smite. That's wise. It doesn't even hurt. What will spread if we don't take the foot now? No, you can't. Shit. I don't want to be a cripple, please. Surely one of our men needs your attention more than this cub. That's the guy we caught earlier, isn't it? Oh, sweet. Oh, God. Oh, my God. There's other sound of her sawing his foot off. No, oh, she didn't want to talk to him, I don't think. Your last name? I want to know what side my family fights on. Mm. That boy lost his foot. On your orders. They killed my father. That boy did. Oh. The family he fights for. I have no hatred for the lads. Uh, well. That should help his foot grow back. She's not wrong. I have no desire to sit in the Iron Throne. So who will? You're fighting to overthrow a king, and yet you have no plan for what comes after. First we have to win the war. That? Actually, because you're just... what If you're not careful about who takes over after... You're just allowing potentially someone worse to take that seat. The boy was lucky you were here. He was unlucky that you were. I like her. Your Grace, whatever my traitor brother has done, I had no part. What the hell, Joffrey? Thousands of good men were butchered. After the slaughter, the Northmen feasted on the flesh of the slain. I thought he was like. So, like uh, incapable of of composure so it's all a lie insists on keeping you alive Stan. imagine you have to marry someone who only keeps you alive because his mother says to leave her face what i like her pretty are they gonna beat her <gasps> Just a baby. Oh, Sansa. What is the meaning of this? What the hell was he about to do? Thank you, Tyrion. That's horrific. Have you no regard for her honor? I'm punishing her. For what crimes? She did not fight her brother's battle, you half wit. You can't talk to me like that. Oh my god, someone cut his head off. Hmm. Would be hard to trust anyone with the name Lannister after that. Tell me the truth. Do you want an end to this engagement? 
Oh. Long lost King Joffrey. My one true love. She's smart. He may survive us yet. He respects that. He knows that'll get her far. You think dipping his wick will cure what ails him? There's no cure for being a cunt. Hey, there's not. Not for that boy. Your uncle left your name day present. And asked me to see that you've got it. Oh, a girl in there, huh? Ugh. Not her biting into an You're apple. Right. That seems very Adam and Eve of them. No. Oh, she went right for it. Could you hit her? Excuse me? My uncle sent you. <laughs> what is he about to do? Harder. Money's worth. That's her. This is. I don't think this is working the way Tyrion thought it would. What? Too much pain will spoil a pleasure. Can they even get out of this? Please, you're is he winding up his bow? You will bring her to his chambers when you're finished and show him. What you've done. He's making her. He's making them. Her. He's making one of them kill the other one. Which is brutally beat them. Harder. What the fuck? Tell me, was my brother's body even cold before you secured your newest patron? I'm a practical man. Just not a loyal one. Not on even a little bit. I don't like the words that come oozing out of your mouth. Me either. I don't want you in my tent one minute more than necessary. Amen. I can trust Brienne. Her loyalty comes without charge. <laughs> Truly. She may be loyal to a fault. There's another apple there. Many who believe Ned Stark erred by not supporting your claim. Is there like a Adam and Eve, Garden of Eve thing happening in this episode? When you march on King's Landing, you may find yourself facing a protracted siege or open gates. I don't trust you as far as I can throw that apple. I did notice your brother entering his grace's tent just now. The place of the King's Guard is by the King's side. And on the night of your wedding. Very upset about this conversation. Your marriage is quite interesting. Well, little finger, get out of here. To the realm. Of course. The marriage of a wealthy girl always breeds interest, if nothing else. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. The whole notion of marriage seems to confuse you, Ooh. so allow me to explain. I love my her. My husband is my king, and my king is my husband. Here is your tent, Lord Baelish. Good night. I love her. They showed us strong, powerful women so freaking well. Oh. What? Do you know of this place? Only that the desert around their walls is called the Garden of Bones. Oh. What's that smell? I don't... Dead people. Garden of Bones. This is grim. This is very grim. It's worse than the screaming is actually the screaming stopping. You betrayed oh Ned. God. Betrayed? I wanted him to serve as protector of the realm. I begged him to seize the moment. I fuck you. Your husband trusted you. And you repaid our faith with treachery. No, yep. my lady. Get up. Yeah, you did. Get the hell out of there. You since I was a boy. And so you got her husband killed. It seems to me that fate has given us this chance to No! Mind get out! Yep. You turned your back on him. Did you really try to manipulate that situation? Am I fucking being gaslit right now? Do you want to see your girls again? Shut the hell up. You have I yet who? Both girls are healthy. Safe. You don't know anything about Arya. 
Lady Stark. Don't believe him. Don't believe him. He's manipulating you. He's gaslighting you. Oh, babes. He what knew exactly what to say. I hate him. Jamie Lannister for two girls. Rob will never agree to those terms. I'm not bringing these terms to him. You don't even have Arya. He wants you to understand that this Tyrion. exchange of prisoners is offered in good faith. Good faith. You guys don't even know where Arya is. No one knows where Arya is. What's this? Is that Ned's bones? Your husband was an honorable man. He should rest beside his family in the crypts beneath Winterfell. You betrayed him. You may not believe Get out. Him. Get out. Get out. Get the hell out. She will never be yours. You do not deserve a woman of that caliber. I just flashed back so hard to when all the little moments where they were just like cuddling and just so sweet with each other. And it's like the one of the relationships that actually seems like built on trust in each other. And where is the brother? I don't know. Found his pants? Oh my god. What is he eating an apple? I don't know. Hair. Wow, the fruit. Symbology in this episode is strong. Started to oh. I didn't see anyone help him. Take it off. Take it off. Who helped him? Gaines, the butcher. Oh my god. Whose banner is that? My own. I suppose if we use the same one, the battle would be terribly confusing. The brothers. The king has taken for his sigil the fiery heart of the Lord of Light. Ah. This woman. Now I understand why you found religion in your old age. <laughs> Whatever, call him out. You should kneel before your brother. Is he a ham? That's twice I've warned you. Yeah, sibling rivalry is already like a heightened. I would knock your heads together and lock you in a bullshittery until you remember that you were brothers. But brothers that both want to be king in a war scenario. And you sit beside this pretender and chastise me. We share a common enemy. The Iron That's Throne true. is mine, by right. That's also true. Old realm denies it from dawn to the wall. Old men deny it with their death rattle and unborn children deny it in their mother's wombs. Well, neither of you will sit on the fucking throne as long as Joffrey is there. Come to me before dawn, and I will grant you your old seat in the council. Otherwise, I shall destroy you. It is dark and full of terrors. God, she's scary. Loved him once. Yeah, he's your brother. I thought we were welcome. If you heard a Dothraki horde was approaching your city, you might do the same, Khaleesi. Horde is a generous. Damn! The drip! I am simply a trader of spices. But we are the 13. Oh, okay. The beauty uh, of Quarth is legendary. Uh, God damn it, Daenerys. You could learn to speak Dothraki, but you couldn't say Karth? Some of my more skeptical friends refuse to believe your children even exist. I'm scared. You promised to receive me. Love her. We have received you. Here we are, and here you are. But Karth did not become the greatest city that ever was or will be by letting Dothraki savages through its gates. So you were never going to let us in. You were going to look at our dragons and then what? When my dragons are grown, we will take back what was stolen from me. Wow. We will lay waste to armies and burn cities to the ground. I believe we will. Ah, you are a true Targaryen. Please let us in. You will all die. And so, retreating in fear they from don't a little girl fear. is unbecoming of the greatest city that ever was or will be. Hey! She is the mother of dragons. 
Yeah, Do you expect I would. her to watch her people starve? Smart guy. Let's see where he... I invoke Sumai. What is Sumai? I will vouch for her, her people, and her dragons in accordance with the law. If they break anything. <gasps> How is that so peaceful? Okay. He literally is risking his life to let us in. Thank you, sir. Holy shit! It's stunning! Oh my god, saved by the Tywin? Tywin Lannister? You have a trade? Smith, my lord. What are you looking at? Leo. Does he know well enough what Arya Stark looks like? This one's a girl, you idiot. Well, yep. Her Grace the Queen Regent commands you to release Grand Maester Pycelle. Cersei must have great trust in you, allowing you into she, her chamber yeah. during the hour of the wolf. She very clearly does. She often works from dusk till dawn. She must be very um, glad to have you helping her. Sorry. Oh, that is she also sleeping with? Ah, that? lavender oil. Yep. I am a knight. An anointed knight, yes. Now I'm thinking maybe we did see that once. Filthy accusation. Have you ever given any thought to what King Joffrey will have to say when he finds out you've been bedding his mother? <laughs> oh, wow. You fold so quickly. A high place in court, knighthood, my sister's legs spreading open for you at night. Mercy! Mercy, my lord, I beg Save you. it for Joffrey. He loves a good grovel. Joffrey does love a good grovel. My father told you to obey my sister. Obey her. Stay close to her side. Keep her trust. Pleasure her whenever <gasps> she requires. That I beg her forgiveness. That I want no more conflict between us. And that henceforth I shall do nothing without her consent. I'll give her Pycelle. We got something greater. Do your knuckle bones bring you luck? Knuckle bones? If your red woman told him the to leap from the crow's nest, she has a name. Oh, and I guess she commands respect. I've lived within the law for 17 years. I want you to be a smuggler this time. You, you're missing ashore? some fingers. Pardon? Are you a good man, Sir Dever Seawood? I'd say my parts are mixed, my lady. Go down bad. Honest, I like it. I'm a knight myself of sorts. A champion of light and life. Honey, you are not good. You want them. Yeah. You want to see what's beneath this robe. He's here to do a job to bring her to the shore, and I don't really know what going to the shore means. Strange that this Lord of Light asks you to work in the shadows. Shadows cannot live in the dark, Sir Devils. Shadows can't live in the dark. Shadows only live in the light. The gods protect us. That's why we're here. not a baby that's a devil what remember when you were judging his wife for birthing stillborn ones I think maybe this is um oh birthing still this is not a bad thing birthing stillborn is not bad okay um okay I um am gonna need a therapist, I think. I'm <laughs> what? It looked like it was growing actual legs. It looked like that was a grown ass man. I'm so scared. I'm so incredibly terrified of her. I think she's a rotten onion. Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, well, well. This season is moving so fast. It feels like. 
I it's not it's nice, right? Because we we've gotten through a lot of we've we've set up a lot of good foundation. And now we don't have to spend as much time explaining the way the world works. And so we can just like have these really quick conversations that like go back and forth and there's a lot of context and there's a lot going on in those conversations and then you know and then we birth birth them i think a demon a demon adult actually on a beach in a cave so that's terrifying that's scary hate it and i love it and this show is forever as good as people said it was so thank you for joining me uh as always if you want to watch full length reactions those are always in patreon um you need your own copy but you can watch along there and don't forget to hit like and subscribe while I have your attention. I'll see you down below in the comments or I'll see you in the next one.